This is exercise 5A of getting to know ArcGIS Desktop updated for ArcGIS 9.3. Go ahead and open up ArcMap, always the important first step. Open an existing map, and of course, this time we'll be using exercise 5A. And the purpose is to change these symbologies to an existing map. And we'll show you a few different ways that you can modify. So here you see a map of Africa uh, with uh, the countries. There are two layers, cities and countries. And step two, you want to change the colors of the countries because we may not like the purple uh, color. So what you do is you right click on this symbol for countries and you change it to a color such as Sahara Sand, which they suggest on page 93. The next step is um, also to change the outlines. You can um, change the outlines by um, clicking on the symbol of the countries layer. That's a left click. You go to the outline color, change it to, let's say, 40%, as a, which is what they suggest in the book, and go ahead and click OK. As you see now, the cities more easily stand out from the borders, to full extent. In step 5, you want to change the symbols of the cities themselves. To do that, you you click on the city the symbol in the cities. Let's say we want to change to a circle, a circle two. Uh, the size is probably too big, so we can go ahead and modify that to a size of ten, and we're finished. Okay, that was step five. In step six, oh, go back. Sub 6, we don't like the green color, so uh, we can change it to some other color, such as ginger pink. Go ahead and click OK again, and there you have it. Um, but I would like to know which cities these are, so we can go ahead and go back to the cities layer, right click the cities themselves, label features, and voila you have the labels for the cities. But um, a white background is a little bit boring, so you change the background, and that you can do uh, simply by right-clicking on the entire the major cities data frame. Right-click on that, go to Properties, this is the first time we've seen the data frame properties. There are many different um, tabs that you can select. We will select the frame tab, which is now open. Go ahead into the background. You can change the color. This time it's none to a light blue. Click OK. All right. We're now finished with exercise 5A. Go ahead and save it if you like. Otherwise, uh, go, continue on to exercise 5B.